It's a really neat campground. I'm going to show you guys a lot more of it tomorrow, but um, it's pretty busy. If you look down that way, um, all of the spots that are taken are pretty much the riverfront spots, so you can, again, um, reserve them. If you want to, you can call in. Can you tell them hot? See all of them? So those are all right along the river, um, which is just right out front. You're going to see plenty of it. But uh, I ended up taking this in spot here, which is the last two, the last two spots in this chain that wasn't taken. And um, I took this spot and I thought it would just be perfect if that was the front lawn. So I took that spot too. Just to make it easy. You know, that way I'm not crowding anybody. I can sprawl out. I try to stay out of the whole people looking at me with the camera thing still it's a little awkward but who, who cares KTM's out everything's set up um, it's about 5:30. might go ahead and just walk the dog down by the water and uh, take a look at the river show you guys a little bit of that it is honestly such a perfect time to fish right now 5:40. it's not too hot I mean look at this did it get any better than that Holy crap. So you get all this epic river to fish and swim in and play in. And the trailer, RV, right there. And then you can take the side-by-sides and go off-roading all day. Yeah, you know you want to come here. This is friggin' perfect. We got plans tomorrow. Alright guys, until tomorrow morning. This is going to be a great weekend. Before I do any riding, I got a new rod and reel I bought a, probably a couple of years ago now. I haven't used it yet. And as far as the fly that I'm using, it's wrong. I can tell you that probably now because everything buzzing around is white. And I tied on a black fly because I was seeing a lot of just black flies. There's a lot of cows around. These are uh, different flies that I've gotten from Colorado, Montana. But I see all kinds of bugs over here. Again, primarily white. Little white, mothy looking dudes. I think something like that, maybe. count. What do you think?
this view from up here? Uh, I don't really know where I am. But uh, from camp, I don't think you can see it way down there. I could see these, uh, like these bluffs up here. And these neat little uh, areas way up at the top of these mountains. And I couldn't help myself. I wanted to come up here and check it out. Look at this view from right here. There's Crowley Lake. And then all the Owens River. Sierra Mountains. I definitely can see, I mean, bringing the razor here, fishing, playing in the river, and then doing all of this. I mean, this this just doesn't stop. It goes everywhere. I mean, look how beautiful it is up there. And a lot of the road accesses the river. So you can be in the side-by-side, -side, take all these trails, and then go down and park along the river. It's all a forest service road going along the river. So you don't have to switch vehicles. You can do that. And then that trail will connect all the other trails from last time up to, to where we came last time, Glass Creek and, and Owens, Big Owens, whatever that place was we camped at. So talk about endless options. Awesome. Love Whew. it. Yeah. Now I'm getting some riding in. Chatterbumps, sand. Land yacht loaded and ready to go. Before I forget though, I wanted to show you this, uh, how I got the KTM up here. Look at this thing. It's a moto carrier and it is terrifying. Like I said earlier, I mean, there's 8 billion straps on it, so it shouldn't go anywhere, but it is a, uh, not a relaxing six hour drive home. But thank you guys for coming along, watching the video. Indiana and I are, Headed home today. She's ready. You ready to go home? You good girl? Alright guys, we'll catch you on the next video.